officers in big, big trouble, accused of racism and wrongful arrest. Sadly, this is too familiar, but the scope and scale of San Francisco's story is unlike anything we have seen thus far in a single department. 3,000 cases now are under review. 3,000 from the last 10 years because they involved work from 14 police officers under fire for sending racist text messages. San Francisco's district attorney just made this announcement saying he has now enlisted these three retired judges who will now pro bono sift through all of these cases to see if people were wrongfully arrested or convicted. There's a theory from the DA that the bias seen in the text may have led into their investigations. At one public meeting, a fellow officer gave a reminder of how offensive those messages really were. Silverback gorillas, in words, monkeys. I feel personally betrayed by our department because of my dedication and loyalty and service to this city is still not respected by some. Wow, Dan Simon is with me. I mean, we, you sort of hear the, the tone and tenor of some of these texts. What else did they say? Brooke, this is really ugly stuff, and it's very serious. But first, let me give you a little context in terms of how the, these text messages came to light. Okay. They surfaced earlier in the year in the federal corruption case of a police officer. And so this was a byproduct of that. So you had 14 officers either sending or receiving these messages. I just want to give you a little flavor in terms of what was said. They included phrases like white power, references to the KKK, the lynching of blacks, and the repeated use of the N-word. There were also hateful words against gays, Mexicans, and Filipinos as well. And because of this, you have the DA dropping this absolute bombshell, announcing that 3,000 cases are going to be reviewed to see if they may be tainted by these officers due to racial bias. This was the DA explaining that, that announcement. I want you to think for a moment, what is the potential impact in our justice system when a juror in a criminal trial questions the credibility of the arresting officer or the evidence that is being presented because they believe that this process may have been influenced by racial or homophobic bias or sort of some other form of bias. Can justice prevail under such conditions?